On a PvP Minecraft server with tens of thousands of active players, hidden deep inside the map lies a puzzle known only by select few, which nobody has ever solved. Players have spent years working on this puzzle, but up until two weeks ago, I didn't even know it existed. And while originally I thought it was just a small easter egg, the deeper I went, the more I found out. But if this mystery really is complex I say, then why don't more people know about it? And more importantly, what exactly is this puzzle? Still watching? Then let me tell you something. You basically won't find another video covering this mystery on YouTube, but there's a reason why. The few players who know about this puzzle want to keep it a secret from everyone else, gatekeeping all tutorials and information surrounding it. Now personally, I think everyone should be able to experience this puzzle, because it's really cool. But there must be some reason these veterans don't want anyone else to know about it, right? And if we want to figure that out, let's start from when I first discovered this puzzle. You know what could actually be a really cool video? There's this weird puzzle on PP Legacy, which barely anyone knows about. And I don't think anyone solved it yet. If any of you guys want to try it, I could show it to you guys. Okay, sounds cool. Where is it? Okay, so drink it FFA and follow me. Sorry, where are you? Oh, yeah, I see. Should be up in this mountain somewhere. Oh, okay, wait, I think this is it. As Rion led me to the puzzle, I had no idea what to expect. It was still crazy to me that something like this existed on PvP Legacy. So, where from here? Oh, I just jumped to your left. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Then jump down here, and then the puzzle starts right about here. Shoot, what the hell? This is sick. So is this the first level then? Yeah, I think so. Someone showed me a lot of the puzzle, but that was like six months ago, so I can't remember exactly how it works. Uh, I think this door opens when all the lights are on, this one when they're all off, and this one when you create a special pet round. Rion kept speaking, but I wasn't really paying attention. Right now, I was just wondering how deep this puzzle really went. And that thought, well, it fascinated me. Mm -hmm. We'll have to go do something for the rest of the day, so uh, you're kind of on your own. Anyways, good luck. Let me know if you find anything. See ya. Okay, bye. And now that Rion was gone, I had two choices. The first was to quit while I was ahead. I mean, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And plus, this isn't really the kind of content that I usually make. So what's the point? But on the other hand, this could be a really cool story. And I say story for a reason. If I choose to continue on this journey, what you're about to watch is not an in-depth guide on how to complete this puzzle. Instead, it's a story that I invite you to experience with me. And with that said, it's obvious I'm not going to quit. So let's get solving, shall we? Okay, I may have underestimated Rion when he said this puzzle would take me months. It would take you a good six months to solve, I guarantee you. Six months? You sure? I'm only on the first level and I still have no clue what I'm doing. I've just been putting together random combinations for the past like 10 minutes and I can't figure out whether I'm getting closer or just making it harder for myself. Luckily, I think I have a solution. Rion sent me one thing before he left, a single tutorial to help me with this puzzle. But Arkan, I thought there weren't any tutorials. Yeah, yeah, what I meant to say was barely any. The first the further we get into the mystery, the less we know about it. With this first section, you might be able to find the old tutorial or two, but go any further and you'll find nothing. So I watched through a tutorial, and once I had finished, I had learned a couple things. From where we are currently, there are three possible routes. Left to the light door, right to the dark door, or straight forward, using a special pattern which sort of resembles an arrow. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to make these patterns, if you really want to know, then just go search up yourself. But after learning how to complete the lights and practicing for a few minutes, I was faced with a question. Which which door leads to the end? I mean, obviously I can redo all of them, but what if I end up spending hours in a room which does absolutely nothing? So, what if I don't have to do it alone? Sure, I would say I'm pretty good at solving clues and cracking riddles, but this mammoth of a task would be practically impossible just by myself. So, I went on Discord and DM'd one of my friends to help me. 30 seconds later, he responded, and we were in a call, where I was about to explain to him everything I knew. That is, pretty much nothing. Arkin. What's up, Flame? Flame, do you know about like the PvP legacy, like Easter eggs? No. What do you mean? Like you know about the the dungeons and like the secret puzzles and things? Wait, wait. Let me get on legacy real quick. Hold on. Let's... Cause I need to show you something, bro. And, uh, you know, Rion. What the fuck? What the hell? I'm on legacy that? right now, by the way. What is that? What? Wait, wait, uh, look at my screen share. Tell me where to go. I'll, I'll help you. Flame and I were in a public VC. More and more people had begun to join, and when they saw what we were doing, they were very, very confused. What the hell? But nevertheless, I started to lead them over to where I was, so we could start testing these doors. Yeah, okay, okay. I guess what's in the lectern? It's a bit, it's a ton of lore stuff, basically, but it's, there's some clue in it. And there's a, there's a button behind this moss block. 
But we need to, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we need a key to open this, this moss block, which we can find in one of the other levels. Have you I, tried I, this I, one? I still haven't, I still haven't figured out, figured out the, these two rooms though. My theory was the middle room was the most important. Given that it had a hidden button, if we want to access it, I thought we would need to get a key from either the light room or the dark room or maybe both. So with this in mind, I started to explore the remaining two rooms. So if, if, when I click this button, then this room will be locked. But, it but then another it, it unlocks another room. Yeah. I've already looked okay, through it. It's, it's just four of the same room. I don't know if there's anything else here. So like what it could be is it could be like um, a rotation lock with the um with the pressure plates. So it could be that when you After half an hour of brainstorming, we still had no idea what to do for the dark room. So we decided to move on. Next up was a light room, and at first it seemed pretty simple. Click some random buttons and boom, it's solved. All we needed to figure out was which buttons to press. So we read the lectern at the entrance for clues. The hero's journey took to the sun took him through all corners of the world. He then went okay, so first south, then westwards, then uh north and east. However, the first is still is still what? Uh south. The first is the same. After reading the lectern, we could figure out a couple of things. The quote unquote hero's journey was just the order we had to press the buttons in. However, it wasn't that simple. To work it out, we had to get the directions from the first part of the lectern and then alter them using the clues in the last few pages. Basically change these directions into something else. And if I'm being honest, that didn't go very well. We tried a lot of different combinations, but eventually, like the dark room, we just gave up. For now at least, these side rooms were too hard and we began to wonder if they were even useful at all. But luckily, we we did have a lead on one other room, and that was the middle room, and we found it out completely by chance. You see, we had been doing this for like an hour or so, and in that time, Rion had come back online. Now while he couldn't log on, he could give us some hints. And when I told him about the moss block in the middle room, he told me I could just do this. Oh. Where am I? Yeah, this entire time I could just click the button behind the moss block. I didn't even need a key, but that meant we had just progressed to level 2 of the PvP Legacy lore. And I was really interested to see what we had to do next. Oh god. A maze. Yeah, that simple. Just a maze. However, I could see from the start that this maze was massive, spanning probably hundreds of blocks in diameter. But there was no other way forward. And even though I didn't like it, this maze was the key to the next level. So reluctantly, we started searching. But those seconds turned into a minute, and that minute turned into 10 minutes, and that 10 minutes turned into half an hour. Half an hour of scurrying around the maze looking for something anything other than these grey, bleak walls with nothing to offer us. When we finally thought we were onto something, it turned out to be completely useless, just a dead end. And given my team was made up of random people I found in the public VC, they were starting to lose motivation as well, until one of them found a pressure plate. Oh, I found something! Wait, look at my screen, I found it! Look at my screen! You found it? You I found it? Found it. Found we it. did it, we did it, we did it, yeah, you did. Look at my screen. Okay, what? Okay, look, I found a pressure, pressure plate. There. Do I just go in? Just you just have to get over there now. Immediately, we rushed to figure out what it did. But apart from changing around a few walls, it didn't seem to do anything. Now, in retrospect, changing around a few walls is very useful. But I didn't know that at the time. Ultimately, we were still lost in the middle of a massive labyrinth with no one and nothing to help us. Well, there. Yeah, look at the thing. If we go left, so we gotta, up, like, go down. You could go up. You could go up. You could go up. Let's go, let's go, let's go down. Let's go down, 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 because at this moment, we would see one of them for the first time. And by them, I'm referring to the Law Sweats. People who know the ins and outs of everything in this puzzle. And even though they haven't solved it, they're so good they do it for fun. And this particular player is named The Scrollers. Wait, I can see his name tag moving, bro. I think he knows the way. Wait, he just teleports, that's what his name tag teleport. What did he just do, bro? Oh, and he disappeared. And after observing the stroller's movements, we could see there was a section in the maze where you could teleport. This meant it wasn't as simple as just walking from start to finish. To get to the end of the maze, you had to change it. And the first step to that was finding that black pressure plate again. That's Some right. random dude just DM'd me, are you the schlat? <laughs> um... Okay. 
Okay. So we did. And after messing around with it a bit, we realized it opened up a new corridor to get out of the maze. So we continued. Next up, we found a stone pressure plate this time. And once we stepped on it, we got teleported to a different part of the maze. Finally, the end of the maze was within the arm's reach. And after, I kid you not, 80 minutes of searching, we'd finally, finally found the exit. And that's when I remembered my motive. Because if a level this hard was only number two, then what about number three or five or 10. How long did this puzzle go on for? And ultimately, what is it hiding? But we still weren't even close to solving that question. And so, with mixed feelings, we pressed onwards with the puzzle. Yeah, uh, where are we? And that's where the yeah. exit is, so we've gone over there. So this is a completely new area, so I think we have to go down. Okay, yeah, we've got to drop go. down. Let's go, jump down. Okay. Oh, shit, maybe we went to do the parkour. Uh-oh. Bruh. Bro, bro, he, he just went over here, and the north door is locked. We have the north key. Okay. I didn't what? even have to use the north key. Oh, we're here. Um, we're in the back room. What the well, hell? Um, <laughs> we're in the back room. Uh, um, he, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't go this way, guys. He went right we're across. In, we're, in the, we're in the freaking back uh, room. I, I, think we, I think we did something we wrong. Clipped, bro. Out of nowhere, we had been teleported to this place, which sort of resembled the back rooms. I say sort of, it is the back rooms. So great. We took what we thought was a wrong turn and ended up here. Basically, we had gone from one maze to another. And the frightening thing is, this time we didn't know if there was an end or not. I really think this we're, is just bro, endless. We're just in the back rooms. Well, it's not endless, but like, I don't think there's meant to be a way out when you get in here. Dude, Oscar, let's, let's, let's go. Let's just go, let's just go. Okay. Oscar, this isn't a maze. Where did you go? I thought okay, you went this way. Yeah, I don't think this is what uh, anyone expects when you tell them, oh, I'm playing PvP Legacy. Yeah, we are playing PvP Legacy, guys. But unlike what we thought, this labyrinth wasn't just empty walls. No, no, no. There was a lot more here than we could ever find in that old maze. It was just up to us to find out what it was. This leaf okay. Arkham. Yes, sir. There's a book here. Uh, should... Important note. Should a non-agent come into contact with this report, they should seek for a survival manual next to food rations. Oh, wait, no, no, there's more. There's more, there's more, there's more pages, more pages. Uh, okay, Dimensional Anomaly Study, VLI Report 2, first recorded date, this is its second occurrence, little is, uh, little is known as the breach which was, uh, opened is much larger than the previous one. Inside the book, we found a lot of strange words and sentences, and nothing really made sense to us. And after reading through, we considered there might have been a backstory to this place. After all, this puzzle has existed for years. But, backstory or not, we still had to find an exit, so we kept searching. That's the- that's our way down. Done it. Yeah, okay. Let's go down. Let's go. Someone died here, you know? Skull. Oh, I might have to Okay, I think okay, there right, are monsters here. Luckily, we, we can't okay, fight them, wait. can we not? It's fine. We have swords. Uh, they said they don't recommend fighting them, so I feel like they're, like, really buffed. Wait, what? There's an... Okay. This is really confusing. Okay. It's over there. It's, like, straightforward uh, pressure. Please. And soon enough, we were completely lost. So lost, in fact, we had found literal corruptions in the world. The average player on this server logs on to practice PvP with their friend. If you told one of the tens of thousands of players just like that that you had found a way to get to the back rooms on PvP Legacy, they would think you are completely insane. And the funny thing is, this back rooms level is still only level 3. So one of the lore sweats, something like this is just an appetizer. We still had a long, long way to go before we would reach the main course. Oh, that must be the... Wait. Wait, he tried to juke us, I think. Wait, where? No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Guys, I'm gonna record this so I know. I'm down, I'm, I'm, yeah, come through, come through. Oh, dude, we Bro, are in the back. Room. How many of these are there? <laughs> 95. I hear Silvish. I, I see Wait, his name. Some of them are yellow. Wait, how did this guy follow me, bro? Wait, how did you guys get in there? By complete accident, we had been teleported into a hallway filled with rows and rows of doors, all labelled 1 through 95, with 95 being the central door at the opposite end. But after testing the doors, we discovered two things. One, each multiple of seven was highlighted. And two, every door apart from 95 just teleported you back to the hallway. However, 95 teleported us to somewhere completely different. What? Yes! Wait! Wait, guys, look at my screen! Look at my screen. Yeah. I went through it and I found this. It is odd. The answer is odd. I'm I'm lost, bro. Dude, I went I, I went through 95 and now I'm lost. 
Where are, where, where are your coordinates? Where are your coordinates? Where, where, where are your coordinates? Oh, I found it. Oh, I found, I found a door. I found a door. I, I, found, I, found, I found the door. I, I found the door. I found the door. Uh, this leaf. This leaf. This is. I see, I'm I see starting it. to see seven everywhere. What? This is a whole different door. I'm starting to see seven everywhere. These are. Wait, these are guides on like how to go through the doors. I'm starting to see seven everywhere. So seven is the first one. Each of the smaller rooms were clues to pick the right numbers. And it was all beginning to make more and more sense. This is you're next to me. You're, you're literally right, right next to me. Look at my name tag. I see, I see, I see, I see. My, mine says it is there. That's, that's what my mind says. The answer is odd. Seven. And then what did yours say? Uh, it is here. I'm starting to see seven everywhere. Is it 77? Like seven, 77. It seemed like everything was hinting towards door 77. So we went through and then tried 95. Through 77. What if we go through 77? Oh. Then go back. And then we go through 95. What the f- It's muddled. From here, we just started walking in hopes of finding something. We're getting closer to the hallway, Trigger. And somehow, after minutes of just aimlessly walking, we did okay. come across something. Yeah. Wait, what is this? Oh, we did it! Oh, you did it! I told you, found bro. it. I'm built different. How did you find this place? What was it? We oh, found this it. Oh, this, this is the stone brick place. Okay, can we I find it out? I'm X-ray, bro. I'm actually X-ray. Are you X-ray? No. I'm just really lucky. Inside the room, there are a couple lecterns and a lot of command blocks. And inside the lecterns, there seem to be instructions telling us how to use that command blocks. So we read through them and followed them. But no matter what we tried, how many buttons we pressed, how many levers we flicked, nothing seemed to happen apart from a few noises that played. It seemed like this room was useless, just like the dark room and the light room, which was admittedly a bit disheartening. But we continued onwards. Next up, we found a door which we couldn't go back through, which was kind of odd. Something here didn't seem quite right. And as we went through, I realized why that was. Not finished yet. This will TP you back to floor 2.5. Wait, is this Wait. not finished yet? There's no way we actually did all this. This room was unfinished, which meant the puzzle was unfinished. Really? All of that just for a sign that says it's not done yet? I couldn't believe it. But yet, here it was, a room we couldn't get out from with nothing to offer us apart from a couple random lecterns and bookshelves. It really seemed like our journey was over so soon. But of course, you've probably checked the video runtime and can see we still have quite a lot left. You know this isn't the end. You know there's still much more to solve. But for me, I thought it was genuinely all over. So I told Rion the bad news. And after I did that, I just went to bed. I mean, I just wasted the day on searching on a puzzle which isn't even done yet. But there was nothing I could do, apart from going to sleep and waking up the next morning. I remember waking up the next morning vividly. It was a Friday, and in two days, I would be leaving to go on vacation. But given that it was a summer break, I decided to log on Minecraft. And from there, on to PvP Legacy. On a whim, I decided to call up Flame, the guy I originally asked for help for the puzzle. And just because why not, we go back to visit the light room. But when we arrive, there's two other people there, almost as if they were waiting for us. One of the players asked me to add him on Discord and voice call with him. Now at first I ignore it. It was 6 in the morning and I wasn't in the mood to VC with strangers, but something made me change my mind. I don't know if it was fate or something else, but I decided to join a VC with him and his friend. Little did I know, this voice call would change everything. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Wait, do you guys know how to do this by the way? Like the light gem? And yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. I do. Yeah. Do you? Okay, so we found this out yesterday, we're, we're okay? We've, the... we've, been, we've been, uh, kind of been experimenting, looking through this entire, like, maze puzzle, like, maze puzzle thing. Uh, yeah, we, we, we did this, like, remember, we did the maze level. We got to the end of the back rooms, um, and we found something saying it was unfinished, so. No. No, 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 it is, it is finished. Like, uh, to be honest, like, I actually did pass the back rooms, like, he's so, so there's, there's a level beyond the back rooms? Yeah, yeah, um, basically, there's, like, 
um, a whole I had heard everything I needed to hear. The puzzle wasn't over, far from it. Remember that law sweat we saw back in the maze? He had led YTKP and his friend to a level beyond the back rooms. Which means when we were exploring it, we had done something horribly wrong. But nevertheless, this was relieving. And immediately, I asked them to show us what they knew. So basically, no, basically, like, if you if you do all lights room, like, if you just do, like, all, like, day, like, all the lights, it's like a... Yeah, like a I, I thought both of these side rooms were, like, red. They didn't mean anything. Oh really? No, no, no. They they all mean something. So if if you get the lights right and you get all dark, then the one door opens and there's like a boss, like a wither boss, and you have to fight it. But then there's also like a water gem and a fire gem and like an air gem. And then there's also like if you can show me like the all off room and the all on room, that'd be great. Because like we just basically we 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 did both of those. We couldn't figure it out, so we just skipped and went straight to this the main thing. Finally, we had an actual lead. YTKP would show us through the light room and dark room, which originally we thought were completely useless. When these rooms were completed, they would give us gems. And apparently there were two more of these rooms scattered elsewhere. But when we went to the light room, we realized they had forgotten the combination to solve it. And the dark room, they didn't really know either. But it was all right. Now we knew these rooms actually had a purpose. And moreover, there were more levels in the back rooms that we were still yet to solve. Unfortunately, KP and his friend had to go because of time zones. So now it was just down to me and Flame to investigate this puzzle once again. But before we could find anything new, we had to go through some old enemies. So that's right, I'm looking at you, Maze. Luckily, now that we knew how it worked, it was much easier. And soon enough, we were through to the next room. But this time, we wanted to investigate it a bit more thoroughly. Since last time, we kind of just rushed head first and ended up in the back rooms. I actually want to explore this place first before I go. I want to see the other stuff. Yeah, that's weird. So this room has two things. You can go through the back room through, through this room, but it's, it seems there's something else as well. Let's be very careful because there's a boss fight. There's a boss fight at the end of the sure. According to what KP had told us, this room matched the description of where you can get the fire gem, and if that was the case, there was going to be parkour and then a boss fight to get it. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, Flame, you good? Eye? Are you dead? Uh, no, maybe. Uh oh. Uh, Damn. If you died in the parkour, then you have to do the entire thing again. So we we're going to have to get used to practicing this. Good. Let me screenshot. Let me screenshot. Uh, well, the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Good. That is not. I'm pretty sure I need to say, s jump on that vine first. Then switch over. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Um, that's. Let's make this jump. If I don't make this jump. Okay, there we go. Okay. Mining hazards on stable grounds. After observing my surroundings, there didn't seem to be anything there, so I assumed I had taken the wrong parkour. Let me go back. Oh, wait, I went all the way back. I've still got a north key. Okay, right, let's, let's just redo this, this thing then. All this resetting and dying started a long chain of repetition, and our main goal was to get both of us in a room with the boss. We did come close with Flame managing to get to the boss room, but I died in the process, and then Flame later died to the boss, so... You know. But finally, we both managed to complete this parkour without dying, and it was time to try and get this fire gem. Just kidding, Flame died to the parkour. But I'm the one that got to the boss, and I'm the one recording, right? So it's all okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, there? Okay, now drop down. Yep, on the ladder. Uh, go to the button. The button. Once I'd reached the room, I climbed down and started fighting the magma cubes. Yeah, all the way up. No. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Get away. Get up, 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 up. Sorry, sorry. There were a lot of them, so it took a while, but eventually I'd managed to kill all of them. Oh wait, now press the button, now press the button. And then, after clicking the button after the boss room- Oh, shoot! I told you, I told you, I told I've you. I've got a fire jam. Okay, so what can I do with this fire gem? And while these gems were all very interesting, they didn't seem to serve much purpose, so it was more of just a distraction. In reality, I was itching to go back into the back rooms, and hopefully find level 5. But I bided my time. I knew right now I was nowhere near experienced enough to actually get to the next level, but I still had a plan to get there. And after hours of waiting, I finally found one of them again. A law sweat, one of their routine runs through the puzzle. If we could follow their route behind them, or better yet, get them to to show us the roots, then getting to this next level would be a breeze, and in the process we would learn a lot. I'm doing it with, I'm doing it with 1204 right now. Oh, I think I can catch up with 1204, this man is so fast. Or no. No. 
Or wait, Arkin, wait, Arkin, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somehow I'd managed to keep up with 1204, or that's what I thought, but for some strange reason, they'd started to wait for me. Maybe it was a sense of pity, or maybe boredom. Whatever the motive, I wasn't gonna complain, because everything was going to plan. Yeah, he could probably tell us what the number we actually need to go through for the... I'm just gonna look at Arkin's screen share. The hallway. I've memorized the maze, but I've not memorized the backgrounds yet. And then you're gonna make yeah, to the room. This is where the barrel is, right? And then there's the door. Yeah. I'm I'm the imagine door. there's like a boss battle. That would be so cool. Yeah, and, and then we go backwards it, now. It just teleports you. It teleports you to the two doors. Yeah. It's really and trippy. We, we go through this one. Oh, we, I got it right. It was seven. So it goes seven? I got it Wait, right. Should I write I this down? I got it right. No, Wait, no, I'm gonna no. Where did you do this? Where did you and then we found, and then that's how we found the terminal. Yeah, but I think he, he knows what to do after that, so I'm following this guy, bro. The... There's the, a button back there. The oh, room where you... Yeah, it just puts you back. 49? Oh, and then you have to go through... Oh my god, this guy is actually so smart. You have to go through every single multiple, I think. No, it's a square. It, it's a, it's a seven squared. We'd been right about seven, but wrong about seventy-seven. Instead, we were supposed to go through door forty-nine. Yeah, no, it wasn't seventy-seven. It was forty-nine. The yellow ones are the multiples. Yeah. Whoa. And now you're. Okay. We we haven't seen this bit yet. So this is all new. Everything had gone exactly to plan. 1204 had led us to a completely new location. And even though they were mocking us for not knowing about it, it didn't matter. We were making massive progress. The hallway we were in now was much bigger than the last one. Almost three times bigger. And this time, every single door had a purpose. That's right, they all go to different places. But obviously, 1204 is the expert here. So with no better option, we kept following them. As we were walking, I decided to ask them a few questions, including how long this puzzle had existed for, and they confirmed what I had originally thought. This puzzle had been here for years. I also asked them just to confirm if there was anything beyond the back rooms, and they responded with, of course, as well as saying they weren't a law tryhard, which is, um, debatable. But hey, whatever you say, man. They then asked us if we're any good at parkour, which was a bit weird, but I would say I'm pretty decent. Get to, uh, like, other sides of parkour. What the hell? Oh, this is this is like. Bro, uh, this bro, where, you guys are teleporting to Narnia. This is where place. Oscar was. This We've been teleported to a really weird place, which, like someone in my VC said, it looks like Narnia. Oh yeah, we, 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 yeah, have, to, we, we, we have to press the buttons. Oh. And in it, we found a magma room with parkour on the top. To progress, we're going to need to make the parkour and get through to the lava. What oh, the hell is all of right. this, bro? Yeah, I think you need to do this. I'm doing all in one go, so I can't have people that's in like the way. No, I can't make that last jump, bro. No, he's, he's, trying, he's, trying to, he's trying to use the, use the magma. Yeah, he did it, he did it, he did it. And after dozens of minutes of just doing parkour, eventually I finally made it. Made it, made it. And now I was faced with a choice. In the next room, there was a single button with a sign under it. The sign read, You have come incredibly far. Are you sure this is what you want? And when I asked 124 about it, they said, Stand on the bedrock and click the button. So that was exactly what I did. Immediately, an anvil dropped, and I got teleported back to the start. When I was teleported back, I had received a new item in my inventory. But apparently, it wasn't very good. What I just got was a smoke bomb, which didn't really do much. But I had a chance of getting something called a summoning book. And that was the item I needed, because with it, I could go pretty much wherever I wanted. I'll explain more about that later. I kept practicing that magma parkour route with this leaf and a few others. I even got the summoning bone a few times. However, I didn't actually know what to do with it yet. So I was forced to log off and wait until the next day. The start of day three wasn't very eventful either. I met a third law sweat, a guy named PN3961, and he proved very helpful, showing me the locations of all the different gem rooms, as well as how to do them. 
them. For once, I actually felt like I completed something, even if it was collecting gems, which for now at least are completely useless. But that wasn't the most interesting part of day three. You see, earlier that day, YTKP had shown me some footage of him doing a room with the strollers. However, this time, the strollers didn't know what to do. That's right, they had found a room that even some of the experts didn't know how to complete. After PN had shown me all the gems, I rushed over en route to the place that YTKP had shown me, and sure enough, I found Pian there as well. Luckily, he was nice enough to show me where the room was, and to get to it, we had to do a bit of parkour, but that's alright. And now I would go through here. Inside the room was a lone cake and a pressure plate. Immediately, it seemed pretty simple what we had to do. Just eat the cake and step on the pressure plate. And after getting ourselves hungry by hitting each other, that's exactly what we managed to do. But after we stepped on the pressure plate, Pian noticed something strange. We had been teleported to a room identical to the one we were just in. And the only way to leave was back the way we came from. So we started crawling back. But this time on the way back, where there was parkour, there was now just a pit of lava. And after after going around it, a single iron door. Pian admitted even he didn't know what was beyond that door, but there was only one way to find out. No, I didn't Due to the darkness, we couldn't see much, but it was very creepy. What we didn't know was that we were actually stuck inside a chamber filled with doorways. I mean, just look at this, they're basically endless. I was really confused as to what to do next, but Pian seemed to have some clue, so I followed him. However, the more we dropped, the more doors we saw. This place really was endless. And eventually, we both just gave up and died to full damage, because there was really nothing we could do. Two days later, I was on a plane halfway across the world to my vacation. And when I arrived and opened up my laptop, I realized I had no other ideas to progress. This puzzle was starting to become stale, and a lot of my friends who had helped me solve it in the beginning had now quit, leaving me to keep exploring. However, I was starting to become bored too. And when I thought I had found something, it turned out just to be a small Easter egg. Nothing of that much importance. The next few days drifted by, and I was beginning to think that this video might just be over. I mean, I'd already received multiple warnings, saying the lore community hated all videos made about the puzzle and the people who made them. Apparently, if I posted this video, it would get spam reported or something. Everything and everyone was telling me just one thing. Quit. Enjoy your vacation, no need to worry about some stupid Minecraft puzzle. But I still had faith. Somewhere in the back of my mind, I still wanted to learn more about this puzzle. And that was all confirmed when I met one player. Oh, Stealth. Oh, Stealth is an interesting character. In my Discord, he's known for trolling and saying some very questionable stuff. But I have to admit, he is very intelligent and good at solving puzzles. By coincidence, one day I was in a VC with him, and I decided to show him the puzzle. Oh, oh my god. Are you coming out the back rooms? I haven't been there before. I saw like a tiny bit of it, but nothing. I literally know nothing about this part. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh my god, what is this? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention it. My mic sounds like I'm in a fridge, so don't worry about it. I oh, fell. South, you're actually NPC so Nation, bro. You died? <laughs> so I showed him through some of the important stuff, like dark room and back rooms and whatever. I'm an expert at following people, especially in the dark. What the hell? Basically just catching him up to speed. And he showed a large interest in the puzzle. More than anyone else I'd previously showed it to. But for now, I thought nothing of it. Until I woke up the next morning and he found some stuff by himself. It was definitely a good choice to show this guy the puzzle. But the information he gathered wasn't anything too crazy. So for now, I didn't do anything. However, that evening, we discovered something which would prove very important later. I see someone over there. The oh, it's the OG2. Wait, 2 here? Do you think he knows anything? Um, I can probably get the VC. The OG2 was a name I recognized, but whether he actually knew anything about this place was a mystery to me. However, there was no harm in asking, even with my horrible microphone. Okay, what's up? Uh, so, what do you guys want to know? So, what's the most you guys have done so far? Um, we got to the, uh, uh hallways, which I started like yesterday, so. Uh, with a different uh, Roman numerals, and we've we'll done a, lot, a couple of the rooms. I'll spare you the details of the conversation, because no one wants to listen to that mic, bro. But basically, he talked about a mini puzzle hidden inside the main map, and it was themed around bees and honey. Apparently, there was also a boss fight, so intrigued, I asked him to show me where it was. Oh, that boss fight is down here. How do we get there? Is that what we need to do? 
So we have to get all these. We have to get these three things. Oh my god. So there's okay. there's three. Oh. There's three Wait, different how, how do I get up? How do I get up? It's like it's like orange orange glass. Oh, because honey orange honey isn't full yeah. blocks, is it? I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it's not a full block. Right. Two showed me around the mini games and some of the parkour, but for now it wasn't really that important. Throughout my vacation, I also discovered some other things, like being able to get outside of the main map through a very complicated method. However, for now, none of it was very useful, but I assure you that soon it will. But anyway, two weeks have passed since I left the vacation, and now I was finally back home. That means that time zones wouldn't be that weird when investigating stuff, and I'd finally have a good mic again. But They're when I returned water. home, a lot had changed, including there being a warden in the background rooms now. I also investigated zone A, the section beyond the main map. And even though I was originally doing it with O Stealth, a random guy showed up and he wanted to know what we were doing. So we taught him a lot about the puzzle, which was pretty funny and also wholesome. Anyway, remember that summoning bone? Well, now we knew how to use it. When you click the bone on the floor, it spawns a skeleton warrior. And in the hallways, there are some doors which don't have buttons to open them, but there are still pressure plates behind them. So one of the lore sweats discovered you could use the bone to spawn a mob behind the door, opening it for you without need of a button. With this method, you could access places that you weren't usually supposed to get to. And again, this is all foreshadowing. It'll become very useful later. But there was one more thing I wanted to investigate. A few weeks ago, I went with PN3961 to the place beyond the cake room. That black void with tons of doorways. And apparently, it had been updated. So naturally, I wanted to explore it. Anyway, we made our way over to the cake room and started to complete it. Okay, there we go. We got TP'd. We got TP'd. Are you sure we did? Yeah, yeah. If, if, if we didn't, the cake could, could regenerate. We got TP'd. And now, I have not seen this yet because it's been updated, but. Alright, not be scared. Just, just. That's right. Yeah, okay, good. And now, we just make this jump. Just drop down. Okay. Now, here, it's. I have not been to. This has been updated, okay? Oh, nah. Okay. So. Yeah, okay, there's a bridge there now. There's a bridge there now. Okay, so. It's a bit trippy, but. It's not that hard, okay? You see how there's like a ton of different doorways here? We're going to jump in downwards, okay? So, move back, move back. That's right. Move back, move back, move back. Oh, that's a dummy. It wasn't zombie, it wasn't zombie. Uh, it's a plane, move, move. I'm dead. Somehow, there was now a warden in that room. And it was very aggressive. Luckily, it wasn't that hard to get back. But it was still very frightening. Oh. Oh my, I just, I just almost just died, bro. Now I heal the way up, up, up to max health to be sure. And I jump over, right? Yep. Let's not throw. There we go. I'm here! Okay. Finally! Okay. Let's go! Finally. It took ages. Ahead of us was a maze covered in red wart blocks. Little did we know, that wasn't the only thing that inhabited this place. Start exploring. Jeez, this is like crazy. Let's go! Go, bro. The red maze. The red maze. We're just gonna be going around in circles. Oh, we're going in circles. Yeah, we'll have to go right. To go. Not a good start. Okay. Oh, yo, we're making good progress. Okay, okay. 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 What the? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's scary. Yeah, that's scary, bro. Oh, but I. I oh, did you have? Wait, I'm, I'm on. Wait, I'm dead. I'm on heart. No. I'm on more heart. You, you can't kill him. You can't kill him. You can't kill him. I want I want two hearts. Go, run, they do run. five hearts every hit. Run. I want I'm dead. You dead? Arkin, I'm dead. Arkin. Are you, are you, are you Ashton? Are you, are you Ashton? Are you Ashton? Yes, I'm on two hearts and they do like five hearts a hit. You have to run, bro. Arkin. They're terrifying. Arkin. How do we get out of this place? Arkin. No, dead end. I'm dead. You dead? Okay. It does five hearts a hit, bro. Is it on me? After that, I decided that was enough Minecraft for today. And admittedly, I didn't really do much more in the puzzle after that. Not because I was scared or anything, just because there was nothing really left to do. Apart from the honey room, which was still pretty much unknown to me. So it would be a good idea to practice doing it and killing the boss. However, one day we realized something terrible. The back rooms had been closed off. Skulk had begun to infect the entirety of the light room, making the middle room completely unusable. It was no longer possible to open it up with a special pattern. Now, this was bad for a lot of reasons. One, I hadn't got an ending for this video yet. Two, all the lore spots were really cranky because they had nothing to do. And three, it means everyone was trying to find a way to get back into the back rooms. Because the admins could try to keep us out, but eventually someone would find a way. But a week passed and no one did. There was talk that the admins were 
working on something huge in the back rooms and they couldn't let anyone else in until it was finished. But I was skeptical. Surely they can't just pause the puzzle for weeks on end. I mean, it got to the point where I was playing PvP Legacy for this puzzle more than PvPing with my friends. But there was nothing we could do. We just had to wait for the law sweats to try and figure something out. So I got a few people on and started practicing the honey room. And after killing the boss, we realized we got a new item. A honey charm, which could spawn a friendly bee as your pet. Now, originally, we didn't think much of it, but some of you may realize where I'm going with this. And the next day, Stealth DM'd me with a crazy idea. Anyway, anyway, I'll explain to you simply. So, you know the summoning burn, right? Yeah, yeah. Is the bee charm not just a different summoning burn? <laughs> the room with the button that opens the door to the library has a door inside it that was originally one of the doors that led to the back rooms. Okay. Um, you have to use the summoning bone to return, but they remove the summoning bone, obviously. So if we can just use the charm now, we might be able to activate it again and then go back into the back rooms. So what you're saying is that even though they've, be they've blocked off the back rooms for the past, like, two weeks or so, there might be a way we can still get back in because of this new, like, bee thing. There's probably a good chance. The theory he was suggesting was game changing. If this worked, not only would we have access to the back rooms, but everything beyond the light room. And no one else, not even the law sweats, would have a clue. So we completed the honey room once again. And when we did, we rushed to the door that Stealth was talking about. Now it was just a matter of testing Stealth's theory. Wait, where do I go? Oh, I'll, I'll turn my brightness back on. Yeah, everyone else come out. Everyone else come back. All oh, right, all right. Okay, then. you just gotta sprint into it. You yes, just do, it, do it, do it, do it. So no jumping, just sprint. No jumping, just sprint. Walking. Pushing him, pushing him, pushing him. Uh, don't, no, don't, 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 don't hold the fire, fire. don't hold the fire. Don't hold the fire, don't hold the fire. Oh, it's in the wall. Okay, too late, too late, it's in the wall. Yeah, and it'll hit the pressure plate, hopefully. Oh, okay. Uh, is it in? Okay, no, no, it's not, it's not. Oh, that's good, no, no, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, that's good. It's just not no. that. The bee wasn't phasing through the door, and I was beginning to have I doubts about Stealth's theory. Oh, oh, wait, oh, 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 Somehow our plan had worked. Well, stealth plan, but whatever. All we had to do was not mess it up. Get out, red, get out, red, get out. Red! Oh red, you NPC. Get out! He's not NPC, he's not NPC. He's not NPC, The beast are on it, the beast are on it. Do we kill the bit? I'm in! I'm in! We're in! We did it! 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 No, no, no! Wait! So, we're in the back rooms again! We did it! Oh, we did it! Oh my god, bro. <laughs> but there was no time to celebrate. Now we were here, we needed to see what we could actually access. Okay, do we, what do we do about this? Do we tell people or not? No, 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 we, no, we do not tell anyone. Okay, don't tell anyone for now. Jesus, I think we just, bro. We're insane, we're insane. Some people will know. Oh my god, no, they don't, they don't, they don't. Did you see that? It removes, the skulk. That? It removes the skulk. No, but do you know what that means? Then no one else has done it, because it's a skulk would have been there. We're, we're, the, we're the first. We're, we're the, the first. first people here, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. We are, we are all just standing outside of the door. This is so <laughs> crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go through here. You don't go through. Don't go okay, through. Okay, I won't go through. I won't go through. Where's wait? Where, where's this? Where is this? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. You're, you're this is it. This is exactly the is back where rooms? I want to be. No, not the back rooms. No, no, no. Forget the back rooms. It doesn't <laughs> let me open, open the lectern. What? So what? Are you in the um? You're, I'm you're, in the one equals V room. Yeah. I'm in the I'm in the room that we were struggling so hard to get to. We're gonna good. start we're gonna start checking out some stuff. We're gonna start checking out. Yeah, some bro. Stuff. There's so many buttons because, we can check. There's so many buttons we because, can check, bro. Yeah, like a lot. Yeah, yeah, I know. But we, we can we, if we really want to, we can try one of them because I've got the honey charm. So. Oh my god, I can get here. I can get here. Don't worry, boys. Something. Oh my what? god, something's what happening. The? Something's happening. What the? Oh. What the? What? Did you get kicked? Wait, it, it crashed this game. I think we just. We just we wrote! Don't worry if you're confused as to what you just watched, because so was I. Stealth had gone to a room, been smited, sent binary, and his game crashed. This was really strange, and at first we thought it was all over. However, in the chaos, I'd managed to get a screenshot of the binary Stealth had been sent, and immediately we started to decode it. In the meantime, we had two people to test the doors, me and another person named Q Jude. Jude would test a door that went to the maze, to see if he could get from the maze to the back rooms. Because if he could, then literally everything was accessible, and while
while stealth and the others were decoding the binary and Jude was solving the maze, my job was to go further than I'd ever been before, beyond the section outside of the map, Zone A. And the reason this was my task will make sense soon. Zone A? I go to Zone A. Yep. I'm in. Oh, is it a mangrove door? Yeah, yeah, it's a mangrove door. Wait, how big is this maze? Oh my god, yeah. bro. I knew it. Yeah, I, I still have to be on me. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This, this could be crazy. Wait, oh, good. Oh. I can bring the bee back to us. By the way, if, if any of the lost pets see me outside the map right now, they're gonna be incredibly confused. Oh, can you can even get to the ship? Oh, there's, there's a guy here, there's a guy here. Does he see me? Does he see me? Don't no. go to the ship, don't go to the ship. Don't there's go to two the people ship. fighting on the north edge right now. They, they, I don't think they, they saw me. Not oh, there you go, go, guys. Not guys, not guys not. you see me? <laughs> What's up? What's up, guys? Okay. <laughs> Oh, What's up, guys? Wait, where, where are you guys? I can't, I can't see you. Oh, yeah, no, I can't. I can't see you. No, this is not lazy map design. This is definitely not lazy map design. Okay, guys, I'm in front of the door. Look how ominous this door looks. Look how ominous it looks. Just go in, just go in. Press it off, press it, boy. Where are you, where are you? Where? I'm in the zone. Oh, yeah, this is the nameless back rooms. You're in the same place, you're in the same place. The door I'm hovering over is a door to a place called Abitish. Considered the end game of the lore puzzle so far by most of the sweats. However, I only had one shot with this honey charm, and I had to make it work. Zoomed in, like with zoom on the bottom pixel, and then I just just in the middle of it, in the middle of the bottom pixel. Yeah, yeah, and I just clicked. Now push it in. Now push it in the second. Oh, yes, push yes, it. Yes, yes, nice. Oh, okay, now you just need to wait for it to fly around. Now we just need to wait okay, for it to fly around. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I mean, oh, 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 there you go. Oh. Wait, no, this, this is the first time I've been in a period. This is the first time I've been in a period. I haven't been in before. Oh my god. Oh guys, my god. It's Abitash. It's Abitash. It's Abitash. Guys, guys, guys. Yeah, it's Abitash. Even before the back rooms were closed, I had never been here before. And now was my chance to explore a place that only a handful of players had visited and maybe find out something important in the process. There could be hints here for what was coming in the future. But really, it was just a string of random admin structures and items. Now, I'm not saying that's not interesting, but I wanted more. My greed for something new to discover had become too much. And I wasn't even satisfied with this. Connecting the structures was drip leaf parkour over the void. And on the final jump of the final stretch of drip leafs, I fell, dying and being sent back to the beginning. And guess what? When Jude got to the end of the maze, there was no back rooms. It was blocked off. And when we decoded the binary, it led to an MP4 of a man telling us not to go any further. We had finally found something before everyone else. We had finally won, but it felt empty because no one knew what we had done. So the next day, I logged on with the rest of them and wanted to try something else. What would happen now if I went beyond the cake room? However, we had become too reckless. And when we went through the door, someone had saw us go through and they began to leak it to the rest of the player base online. This was bad, really bad. And we had no choice but to hurry up and get into that cake room. And eventually, me and another player in our group reached the cake room. But before I stepped on that pressure plate, I thought about everything I'd done up until this point. I mean, I sound like we lost, but that wasn't the case at all. Since Rion first showed me that puzzle, I've had so much fun solving this with my friends. I've met people I never would have met otherwise, and throughout this video, I've tried my best to convey that experience to you, to make you feel what I felt. Hopefully, I've succeeded in that goal. But anyway, sob story aside, it was time to step on the pressure plate. And when we did, we got teleported back to the start, with a message in chat asking us how we got there. But we weren't just back at the start. We were in the lobby with gear, meaning everyone could see us. As you can expect, this started pandemonium, with people in chat asking how we got there. And we couldn't even go back into the arena. The signs wouldn't work. Somehow, a group of nobodies like us had broken the game. And for the first time in forever, I finally felt satisfied. It was so crazy, a staff member had to log on and slash kill us. Oh, they slash oh, killed us. They're slash killing you. I'm still alive. They slash killed us. And shortly after, the glitch to get to the iron door was patched, meaning it was now finally all over. There was nothing left to do. But I know that eventually those skulk doors are going to open back up again. Players are going to come flooding back into the back rooms, and this puzzle will eventually be solved. But the ultimate question is, are you going to be there to witness it with me? And I think that's a good place to end the video.